Okay, now then I can argue that this pi out, this pi out is proportional to, is proportional to Energy density of reverberant field and volume. In other words, how much energy is coming out per unit time would depend on energy inside of the room. In other words, if the energy of the inside of the room is very high, then the energy coming out per unit time would be increasing. Okay? Suppose I have a big tank, and then I open the uh, pipe over here. If I have a big water, then the rate of flow coming out through the pipe would be larger than the case when I have smaller water, right? Right? Or I could say if I push a high pressure in a tank, then I will get more energy per unit time, power out. So this is quite acceptable. Therefore, I can write now that the is proportional to that is a fantastic right that is a fantastic to make this proportionality to equal i need Something that has to do with the time. Right? This we agree. Then I, we want to change this proportionality to equality. Then we can see that we need some time constant that we do not know yet, but from this logic, we can say that I can write this equation, proportionality equation to equality, by introducing time constant tau. Then, what does it mean? Then, the energy density inside of the revolvering room, we can solve this, right? Yeah. It's simply E revolve in the beginning and then exponential minus T over tau. But well, that will satisfy this differential equation. Right? Anybody, you, you, you guys can solve this, right? This is very simple. Hmm? So what does it mean? Okay, the energy at a certain time will be decaying exp exponentially. Like, for instance, when I is decaying exponentially. It's decaying exponentially, right? Oh, that's too simple. I mean, is that all the famous Samian found a long time ago? Is that all that the Samian got the, so, the fame out of it? Yes. <laughs> too simple, right? 
So you are very unhappy to live in this kind of very sophisticated society. Right? If you if you were born like a hundred years ago, you 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 sure that you can be better than seven, right? It's too simple, huh? Okay. And what is a Tao? Then? I ask you, what is a Tao? Then? That is simple. So I ask you, what is then Tao? So seven found that the tau is proportional to open area window, AS. Ha, huh, that's too simple to he is always a <laughs> too simple. Yeah. Right. If you have a large window, they then exponentially decay term. I mean, in other words, the, the, the sound will decay much faster. If it has a small open area window, then the rate of energy we lose is getting smaller and smaller. Therefore, Tau has to be inversely proportional to open area window. Yeah. And we want to make this proportionality to equality. Okay. It turns out to be This is great. This is great. Okay, tau is proportional to volume. Means that I have big room. Then tau is getting to be bigger and bigger. Why? Why? Okay, suppose I am generating sound in a, in a, in a, in a, in a for example, in our auditorium, big auditorium, right? And I shout over there. And then the sound is propagating, psh, and reflected, and reflected, but that sound wave has to, be, has to travel much, much longer distance than the path that the sound has to travel when I shout in this room, right? So it has to decrease in faster. So tau and v has to be proportional. OK, that is great. That is great. Why? Because he claims that so complicated reflection phenomena that occurs in enclosure or room can be represented by this very strange one character tau. Okay, this equation simply says if you have the same volume and the same open window, then it has the same tau. It doesn't depend on how much money you spend on to make the room. Right? So it's very fair to whom has a lot of money or to whom has a small amount of money. It doesn't matter with the, with the money, right? It doesn't matter with the... Um, what type of opening area you, you open window you have 